New Jeff, it is now 502 breaking overnight. Law enforcement and first responders were running around the Idaho's Greenbelt after a man fell through the ice on the Snake River. Local News 8 was first on the scene and Connor Knuckles has more on what happened last night. Good morning, Connor. Good morning. Idaho Falls Police received a call around 730 last night that a man fell through the ice on the Snake River here at the Idaho Falls Greenbelt. Bystanders on the shore allegedly called in the situation when they heard screams for help. Law enforcement set up a perimeter in the area, bringing in dive teams to locate the man. But the freezing temperatures created a number of challenges. Resources start affecting ability to stay out for excessive amounts of time. You start burning through guys because you freeze them and they build up you know, nitrogen in their system. They can only die for so long. The depths were pretty shallow, so if it wasn't for the temperature, we could stay out for a lot longer. Christopher Ricks, the lead diver, tells us it was fortunate they were able to dive at all. If the river was completely covered in ice, we probably wouldn't dive it because of the current moving. Since it's partially open and it had just happened, we opted to sent a couple of divers in in that emergency mode to try and do the rescue. For several hours, the dive teams took turns searching the frigid river, eventually tracking the man down. Fourth and probably final diver for tonight um, was able to locate the victim on the bottom. Um, we were able to recover his body and uh, We'll be doing an investigation now for that. Dive team supervisor Carl Kasperson tells us that every year law enforcement and dive teams are called out to deal with an incident on the Snake River. We usually have vehicles going in, we have snowmobiles going in, um, ice fishermen, so this is the first one for this year. Which is why they're reminding us to stay off the ice on the Snake River even if it looks like it's frozen enough to hold you. It's hard to judge exactly how thick the ice is on a river. This location right here, the water is still moving with a pretty decent current, which limits the, the strength and development of ice on the river. And it can change how thick it is from spot to spot, making it extremely dangerous. We're told the dive team will be back out later today to inspect the area as they search for more answers. We'll be sure to bring you more information as it becomes available to us. In Idaho Falls, I'm Connor Knuckles.